Ladies and giants of rock, yeah, because it's a bit like an EVH, isn't it, you see? Uh, but this is, as you can see, the Ernie Ball OLP. That's Official Licensed Product. So, let's put it through its paces, see what it does, see what it sounds like, and then I shall tell you what I can about it. So, let's do that. Okay, so pickups, and uh, we will start with distorted, overdriven, noisy, whichever you prefer, and we'll start with the bridge and. <laughs> mm, nice and punchy, I might say. Uh, into the centre. <laughs> Onto the neck. Well, that's those. And onto a clean setting again, starting with the bridge. Hmm. Into the centre. And on to the neck. So, Ernie Ball, of course, that's what we're talking about tonight. And uh, Ernie Ball. Born in 1930, departed in 2004, not long enough, but certainly he left his mark on the world, uh, not only as a musician, of course, but certainly with the uh, products that he created and wanted to give to the guitar world. And one of the things that he did want to give was a, a budget instrument, basically, uh, for the proletariat. I would say. So these official or OLP, as we can see, official licensed products were made in China, generally speaking with Korean hardware, and they were really, really nicely appointed. And this guitar plays absolutely brilliantly, and it's and it is it's well made. So let's have a look from stem to stern. If I can get the strap off, because it took me an age to get the damn thing on. It's a new strap, see. So what I do like about these, certainly, well, t well, actually, I like pretty much everything about them, really, but the four on a side and then two on the other side, tuners, means that you can keep your string straightness into the nut more uniform, and that should help with tuning stability. So we've got a maple neck with, as you can see here, with a, excuse me, with a maple cap. Are we anything like in focus here? With a maple cap, uh, action is precisely where we like it. Very, very easy to play and it sounds terrific. 
and it gives you the information on the back, but it doesn't tell you what year it was made. Well, these ceased production in 2009, so we know that it was prior to that, and this is a real survivor. It's now they reckon that it's a quilted maple top, according to the specs that I've read. But I rather thought that that would be a photo flame finish. You see what I mean? Uh, the colour and what have you would indicate that to me. Yeah, so, you know, uh, maple cap with nice little dot inlays there. That's all you need to guide you along your fretboard. 22 lovely shiny frets. And this and this one is in such good order. It has been played, but it is in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. There are a few, a few very, very minor marks around here, uh, but n really no deep wounds or anything like that. And it's it's just it's just really, really nice. So, uh, as said, we've got a maple neck which is bolted on to the body using that nice asymmetrical plate. And, of course, it bears the maker's signature on there. Well, at least it tells you that it's the OLP. It's a basswood body and you've got two humbucking uh, pickups there which are very, very nice and you'll see some numbers back here about when they're popping out. One of the things that I really, really, really like about this is the control layout. Toggle switch, volume. It's all you need. That'll do for me. So uh, this one has been fitted with a new set of 9046s and it, pl and it just, and it plays beautifully. It really does play beautifully. There's no, no buzzing, no choking, nothing like that. It just, th th there's a couple of these on sale at the moment. Uh, I saw one on eBay, four seventy-five. You know, uh, which I think is a pretty decent price when you consider that, of course, these are your Music Man, your EVH. It's all from the same family. This one is equipped with. A fender style tremolo system and you have six individually intonatable and height adjustable saddles just like you do with these straps so it's a just a regular um what the hell is it they call it uh it says it on all the fenders a cont contour to synchronous there you go uh synchronous uh vibrato system um, you have on the back of course your control plates there for the well for the electronic bits and for your vibrato system what a look what a lovely thing to have what a lovely thing to have the tuners I note have still got those plastic bits on them and so certainly uh, for pre-2009 model, it's certainly not had that much abuse. As you can see, there's, I can't see any, what's that? There's a little, little bit of something on the neck there. I don't know whether that's from the original wood or something that's occurred to it. But the, the, overall, the overall picture with this, I mean, look at that damn thing. That is so lovely. What a really, really nice thing to look at. And uh, we've got binding all the way around the body, which is very, very nice. We've had a couple of these in before, and they're, they're just really, really well made. Apparently, the quality control was very, very tightly observed. So you, so you should be able to, so if you are in the market for something a bit evh -y, then certainly these are well made, well constructed and very, very well put together. So, uh, buy with confidence, but at least but because of the age of these things, do make sure the damn thing works first. That's all I can say really about these. Yeah, uh, suited mostly to rock, I would say, but you know, um, 
suited to a variety of styles. So, with all that said, I shall bid you a fond farewell, and I'll see you later in the week. So, thank you all ever so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Adios, amigos. Terra.